Cheers, boys. Cheers. What's up, guys? And welcome back to LSJ TV. We have just been to the gym. Hopefully, you enjoyed that little opening mix there. We have just handed in our dissertation proposals this morning, so we treated ourselves to a leg day and a pint. I would say treat. The irony is, is ridiculous, but we're going to enjoy ourselves. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. That was a bit of a crappy intro, so I'll just do another one. What's up, guys, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now, I'm actually on the way home, uh, and what I was trying to say was the reason we were having a drink. Uh, we actually had a couple, which is fine. Balance is everything, balance is key. Uh, we actually had a couple of drinks to celebrate handing in our proposal. So, the first thing that you will have to do in third year at uni, or your last year, or whatever it happens to be when you do your dissertation is hand in a proposal, hand in an ethics form, check everything's good, because you can't just go around investigating shit, you have to get clearance from God knows how many people, it goes through some sort of governing body or something, I don't really know exactly the story behind it, but that was what we were celebrating, and uh, yeah, so very excited to get started, it's all about the gym, as, a, as, a, as I've told you in the past couple of videos, it's all about the gym, I'm investigating bodybuilding culture and everything, so perfect for me, but what we're going to do now is go home, get some food. I think we've got steak and sweet potato fries for dinner tonight. So that should be interesting. Stay tuned, guys. Let's get the video started. Hello? Hey! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. YouTube. Currently on the way to the gym, sipping on the pre-workout. I've got my shorts in my hand as well. It's actually back day, uh, well, upper body day, but back emphasis. Hopefully the gym isn't going to be too busy so I can do a bit of a walkthrough for you guys. Haven't done one for three or four videos now, so it should be interesting. Let's go. Started off today's workout with some pull-ups. Uh, actually did some sets on the lap pull-down, which is what I'm balancing you on now. Just to get the blood pumping in the back, I feel like if it's the second exercise that I do, then it works a hell of a lot better. I don't know, I just feel warmer overall. I've done some shoulder press beforehand as well, like I do before every single workout, whether it's legs, whether it's chest, whether it's back, anything, I do shoulder press before everything. <laughs> I was debating whether or not to actually up my shoulder press purely because it's so far ahead in terms of strength, in terms of size, everything else on my body except for legs. Miles ahead of my bench, anything like that. my shoulder press is nearly the same as my bench, so I don't want to keep upping that up in that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Should I up, keep progressive overloading my shoulder press or should I kind of stick with it and <laughs> stick with it how it is at around 60, 65, and then let everything else progress ahead? Let me know in the comments. See what I mean? It's kind of getting to the point where 60 for a set of 8 is relatively easy. The fact that I can talk like this after that set. I know, I feel like I should be upping it, but I'm not too sure. I, can't, I want to develop evenly, so it's another dilemma. Hoodie off. Hat on. Let's fuck this shit up. Three sets of each done. Next exercise is going to be a narrow grip pull down. So there's a number of ways you can do this. You can do it with a rope, you can do it with a bar, and just grab it in the middle. But I prefer to do it with two individual, like what you were going to do with a cable fly, but the two individual handles on one hook. And so what you do is you pull down, but with a neutral grip, allows me to get a little bit more range of motion, I find anyway. But that's something you can figure out for yourself uh, once you progress in your training. Level. Come to slightly change up the routine today purely because it's relatively busy in terms of filming. I have to put the camera in certain places and if people are using that equipment then I can't do it. And like I said in the last video, I have a bit of a dilemma with trying to keep it under the keep it on the download kind of thing. So if I'm too out there with where I put the camera and everything like that, then I can get myself into a little bit of trouble. So gotta be a little bit conservative today, changing up the routine a little bit because of it. Next 
Next up is cable flies. Again, there's a couple of ways that you can do that. You can do it from high, you can do it from the middle, you can do it from below. Everything works the muscle ever so slightly differently, but I tend to do it from the middle so I don't put as much strain on my shoulder. I try to come around about halfway back again so I don't put as much strain on my shoulder. So I find if I go any further back just to get a little bit more range of motion, it kind of puts me off just a little bit. It means I can't focus on the exercise. It means I get less out of it as a result. So something that, again, just like the narrow grip pull downs, you've got to figure out for yourself. You'll know as you go along, trust me. A solid, solid back workout completed today. New PB on pull-ups, new PB on bent over row, new PB on bicep curls, new PBs absolutely everywhere. The bulk is going well, the growth is coming along. Together, we will grow, guys. Follow this program, let me know what you think. If you follow any other program, let me know what that is down in the comment section. I'm always interested, you should always, in every single aspect of life, be interested to learn something brand new. Whether that is whether you think you're an expert in that area, whether you think you know absolutely nothing about it, don't be scared to read up about it, don't be scared to ask for help. Because at the end of the day, guys, we're all in this together. We're all in the gym, we all go to the gym for one reason to better ourselves. And if I can help you to better yourself, if you can help me to better yourself, then I tell you what, the feeling is absolutely amazing. The, the, the satisfaction you get from just helping people, and then the feedback you get saying that you have helped them, it's on, honestly, it, it really does make me day. I've had people tell me how much weight they've lost, how much muscle they've gained, and all that kind of stuff. It gives me a hell of a lot more motivation, and it should do with you guys as well. Leave your current program down in the comment section. Maybe I can give it a go, and I'll put mine in the description box or something like that. That, an online personal training coming very very soon where you can follow my training program as well as have one-to-one -one contact with me the whole time nutrition plans the lot guys my level three is going to be completed very very soon so the online training will be coming even quicker than that stay tuned actually left my BCAAs at home today which is kind of annoying because it kind of gives me a little break during the workout gives me something to actually do during my rest time, so I would just shake it up in my lean shaker. That reminds me, I have a brand new shaker waiting for me at home, so I'll do another unboxing over the next few days or so. I'm gonna be doing a lot more lean content just because um, I like it. Anyway, I left my BCAs at home, um, so that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, purely because you can take them before, during, or after. As long as it's within sort of a certain window, you don't wait hours and then take your BCAs just because. So I can go home now, I'll be home in around about 15 minutes, and then take my BCAs, and they'll be just fine. Thank you. I'll tell you what though, Charlotte. It's a bit chilly out here. Good job. I've got all this nice, warm winter LSJ gear. Now, that, what, what was that? Oh, where can you get one? Oh, well, right. So you can just head to the first link in the description box, lsjfitness.com, to pick up yours. I've got one. Today. Job's coming soon. Hello? Hello. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna conclude today's video. We are showered and just about ready. I've gotta actually get changed. And we are enjoying a bud, not a bud light. If you know, you know, it is pulking season. So myself, Alex, and Billy are gonna to head to CESU tonight. That is a student union. I'm having a bud, but if you follow the actual acronym on LSJ TV, you would stick to zero calorie mixes and spirits. But I'm not doing that because money and this is all I have. Diet so anyway, that will diet coat, that's the one. Right, anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you have made it this far, then drop it a like and a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you in the comment section. Thanks from these two and thanks from myself for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.